Hello beautiful people, hello to this video. It's been a quite a while since I've shared a video. I've been in this, um, as many of us, in this very transformative process, this, this realignment process. And I'm here in France uh, with my family. This is the forest of Aisne, about 10-15 minutes from where I grew up. And we're here to celebrate Christmas, here to be with my family, and here also to, to say goodbye to uh, the house where we grew up, the, the farm called La Fraternité, which means in English the Brotherhood. Very uh, appropriately, appropriately named since there's, we have, we're four brothers, two sets of twins. And this time of year for all of us is uh, an interesting time. Christmas, New Year's, it brings up so much stuff. But also since we're ending this crazy year and opening up into the new, it's like a fresh start every time, isn't it? So my experience of this is the past two months have been very challenging. So many challenges, so many material challenges. Things like, you know, computers, scooters, taps, uh, getting documents together. Everything has been so frustrating and challenging. And at the same time, what's happened as a result of that is it's brought so much more resilience and power and alignment, I would say. Through these challenges, through these material, that always, I would call them material challenges, of course, it's all material and it's all spiritual at the same time through these challenges, these are always opportunities and doorways to step more into ourselves, to step more into our power, to step more into our, our, our natural resilience. And this is what we're being invited to do right now as light warriors, being in our bodies, in our power, being of our soul, of our spiritual nature. And as a result of that, stepping into our role as way showers or guides or people that can you know invite others to see beyond the the general narrative we've been really living in this kind of you know illusion of our smallness uh, in, as individuals and as a collective in this old story of of what being human means being separate being of the body being operating from our minds and from our brains instead of from the design of our guts, our hearts, our soul, our essence. And so us coaches, healers, creatives, us light warriors, we have this duty right now, and especially with what's going on right now around the world with mandatory vaccinations and all of these crazy um, structures, all of these crazy um, things that are happening that are going completely beyond logic. Because that's what's happening, we're going beyond logic. If you think of this illusion, this kind of smallness, that's been based on logic. It's been based on the mental, the disembodied, the disconnected from the body, from the earth, from our soul, from our core. And so in order to move beyond that, we have to go beyond that logic. Yeah, and we're seeing that reflected to us in the collective, but it's also happening in our lives. A friend of mine shared this really beautifully in the new paradigm. Things are happening very differently to what we thought, how we thought they would happen. You know, in the old logical way, there's a kind of linearity. We can think we know what's going to happen next. We think that if we do this, this will happen. We think X, Y, Z. When, of course, when we're really of our soul, of our design, in this new way of being, new way of being, perhaps new for us, but not new for, for our soul or for children if you observe them as well, or not new for nature, then as we come home to this new way of being, in my experience, nothing is linear. It doesn't make sense what we go through, and yet we're still able, we're still more than able. This is how we create our new reality. This is how we create what we're here to be creating, this new earth that we talk about. 
And of course, New Earth has been taken on by, you know, kind of new, new age, new cage movement. And I say that with so much love because I've been very much in that movement. But part of becoming the light warrior and becoming of our bodies is recognizing where we're trapped and where even belief systems that we thought were beautiful and we held true and we thought were empowering were actually very disempowering, were actually keeping us small. And so part of this movement of breaking through and creating from a much larger understanding of who we are, of who you are, of what you are, that is an invitation right now, to go beyond that, <laughs> that cap. And I'll give you one example. Um, I've heard this, I don't know how I heard this, but I was told that the island of Crete, where I live, is very powerful, and it is very powerful, full of magic, full of beauty, and this really tangible energy, very full of magic. And yet there's a big crust at the top, which is like the old paradigm where it's quite thick. And if you're born into that crust, it's quite hard to sense or move, allow yourself to be moved by the magic beneath it. However, for a lot of us who are not born on the island, for example, we arrive and we kind of bypass that, that thick crust. Now, we still experience it, of course, in, in ourselves in, in ways, but we're able to kind of bypass a little bit that stuck crust at the top and access more of that profound magic beneath it. And I want to take that story and apply it to what we're going through again. You know, there's this crust, this illusion that we've been living in of the mind, of, as I say, the story of being human, the story of our separation, the story of our powerlessness and our smallness. And we're being invited right now to really connect to the magic that's within us, that's beneath us. So we can, we can expand beyond this limitation. We can see that, we can take a step back and see that we are so much larger and bigger and more powerful and more beautiful and more connected than what this story is. So that's my invitation to us for 2022. My invitation for right now is that is may you have the perspective to see how incredible you are. Yes, we all experience challenges, we all experience our wounding coming up, we all experience frustration and whatever's there, but those are always doors, portals, windows for awakening more possibility, for seeing ourselves as wider and for expanding beyond that, that limited self. So wishing you a wonderful Christmas and a 2022 filled with this abundance, abundance of knowing, abundance of power, abundance of joy, abundance of wealth, abundance of success and abundance of stepping into your design and how you're here to show up as the light warrior that you are. Thank you.